What's up guys? So I want to do a little how-to video today on how to uh, adjust your trigger if you don't like um, where it's currently set at from the factory. So I recently just picked up this uh, 28 Nosler. Um, this is new for Nosler this year. It came out in 2018 at the SHOT Show. This is their carbon um, long range rifle. I'm pretty stoked to get this set up and uh, get this dialed in, but uh, it's got a manor stock, proof research barrel, um, Timney trigger, and that's what we, we uh, want to work on today is I want to get this trigger set a little bit um, lower than what it's set at now. It's currently sitting at about three and a half pounds from, from Nosler, and I want to set it at about two and a half, so we're going to go ahead and get working on that and uh, see if we can't get this done. So first step we want to do is we're going to get in here and remove these action bolts. Uh, these are this uh, gun has a rear action bolt, front action bolt, that'll allow us to get in there and uh, remove the floor plate and the trigger guard and then we'll be able to pull the barrel with the action and trigger assembly all out in one and then we'll be able to get in there and adjust the trigger. So like I was saying, uh, we've got two different size action bolts here. The front one's going to be shorter than the rear. And get this rear one out. Rear one's just a little bit longer. So obviously we want to put those back where they go. Get this floor plate trigger guard removed. We'll be able to remove the barrel action and trigger guard assembly all in one. So we got the action bolts out, floor plate trigger guard removed, and we're gonna go ahead and turn this over and pull this barrel off. This barrel action and trigger assembly is all gonna come out in one. So it's in there a little bit, um, but just come out pretty smooth. So you can see it all just comes out in one action and trigger and now we can easily um, adjust the trigger here. So like I mentioned before this has got a Timney trigger and I want to adjust this down to about two and a half pounds so as you can see here on the front of the trigger it's got uh, this adjustment screw. So what we're going to do is we're going to loosen up this nut and then we'll be able to get a, an Allen wrench on the front here and make our adjustment. It's not on there extremely hard so you'll be able to break it loose fairly simple. All you need to do is just loosen it up enough that you can make the Allen head adjustment next. All right, we got that backed off a little bit, so go ahead and get the Allen head here. So we got that right here. We're just gonna back it off a little bit. Like I said, this was at about three and a half and I wanna go get this gun set at about two and a half. So we're just gonna back this off Maybe about a quarter turn at a time, maybe even a full turn, and we'll just kind of see where we're at. We do a little bit of adjustments each time. Throw this back over. We've got the uh, Weather trigger pull scale right here. All right, so we got this turned over. Let's lock the bolt in and let's see where we're at with uh, that little adjustment we did. So we'll be using the uh, Weather trigger pull scale here. Digital scale might be a little bit more accurate. This is what we got, so it should get us uh, close enough. Get a nice even pull here. So we're looking at, a, it's kind of hard to tell, but it's a little below three, almost a two and a half. Give it a couple more shots here and see where we end up. That one again is just a little bit above two and a half. Let's do one more for a little consistency here. And that one was barely above two and a half, so I think we'll. Back it off just a little bit, and that should put us right at two and a half. Let's 
Turn this back over. Real close again, might have to live with that, I think. Well, that's a lot better, that one was right at two and a half. Let's do one more. I think we'll take it, that one uh, turned out pretty good, so. We'll live with that. Now we just need to turn it back over and lock down the nut on the front again. That's where we like it. Okay, so we got the trigger set at where we like. Now we're gonna go ahead and lock this front nut back in place. Right, be careful not to hit the screw and make any adjustments. Okay, so we've gone ahead and made our adjustment trigger sitting at uh, real close to two and a half pounds right now. So we're going to go ahead and install the barrel, the action, trigger assembly all back into the stock. And then get those action bolts in and we'll be done. Let's stop it. Got this pretty well seated back in there. Just want to make sure that that recoil lug is sat in there real tight. Don't want any movement. It's in there. Pretty solid, so go ahead and turn it over and adjust the magazine box. And then reinstall the, uh, the base plate and the trigger guard. All right, again, remember those two different size uh, action bolts. Front, shorter one goes in the front, longer one in the rear. And we'll get these started just by hand, and then um, there's a recommended torque setting on these. Nozla recommends 40 to 45 inch pounds on the front action bolt and 35 to 40 inch pounds on the rear bolt. So we'll just get these started and then we'll get our torque wrench out and get those adjusted. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set this front action screw to 45 pounds and then I'm gonna do the back one at uh, 40. Get them both pretty snug. And then we'll torque them both the rest of the way. All right. All right 45 on the front. And then we'll drop this down and do 40 on the rear. Front. Okay. 
So again, we're, we're pretty much done. We've just finished up tightening up the action bolts to, to spec and I've installed the bolt and I wanna check this one last time to see where we ended up. Again, we were shooting for two and a half pounds. And it looks like, yeah, sure enough, we, we're sitting right at two and a half pounds, so I'll, I'll take that. Again, this isn't too difficult and it doesn't take much time. If you guys have any other questions, uh, just drop them in the comments below. And, and uh, thanks for watching, guys.